Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So today's video is going to be a tag video that was actually started by Samantha March here on YouTube. It's going to be the top five brands that excite me and the bottom five brands that excite me. So the whole idea of this video is to provide five brands that really interest you, that you get super excited when they release a new product, and then those five brands that you kind of just like gaze over and you don't really, um, you don't get excited about their new releases. You just kind of pass over them without a double take. So I am super excited to finally be filming my version of this video. So let's just go ahead and hop into it. So this was actually really difficult to narrow it down to five brands. Um, my bottom five I was pretty solid with. I was able to, you know, really solidify my bottom five before I was able to solidify my top five. For my top, I had like eight and I had to narrow it down to five, which is really difficult. But I think we're gonna start with the bottom five and then we will end with the top five so that we end on a high. So the first brand that just really doesn't give me a pull of any kind is Smashbox Cosmetics. Now, I have tried a few products from Smashbox, but they have always just been one of those kind of bland brands to me. Um, their releases never really speak to me. Their eyeshadow palettes, um, they had those like larger neutral palettes and then they came out with a bunch of those little cover shop palettes and I never wanted any of those palettes. I never really felt a pull to them. I never did the double take and I just never really was interested in spending my money on them. Really the only product from them that really like called to me was the Cali Contour palette which I actually really do enjoy but other than that like I own their foundation, I own a primer but other than that I just really have no interest in trying much from the brand, which is really sad to say, but that's just, you know, the nature of this video. Um, this is supposed to be very lighthearted. I don't want anyone taking offense to this by any means. This is just an opinion-based video. A Smashbox would have to be one that I really just, just pass right over, you know? When they release something, I'm just like, okay, thank you, next. Next up is probably going to be a controversial one, but next is Tarte Cosmetics. I used to be such a diehard Tarte fan. I really look forward to their releases and I always just thought that they were kind of doing something new in the beauty space. But as of lately, I just feel like Tarte is um, one of those brands that kind of releases the same thing over and over again just in different packaging or, you know, they call it something else. Um, I feel like they release a lot of just like really neutral palettes with, with a pop of blue, which you know there is nothing wrong with that, but it's just I have so many palettes like that that I always just skim right past the Tarte releases that I see pop up on like Trend Mood and such. Um, and they just, they've slowly become one of those brands that are just like meh to me. I do have some products by Tarte that I really do enjoy, like I really think their blushes are nice. But if we're talking about the the five brands that really just don't do it for me, either they used to and they don't anymore or they just never did, Tarte is definitely one of those that just used to do it for me, but they just don't anymore. And uh, for that reason, they made the bottom five. Next up, I wanted to talk about Hourglass Cosmetics. Now, Hourglass is definitely a pricier brand, so that might be one of the reasons why it's um, not a brand that gets me super excited, although I do have a pricey brand in my top five that I'm gonna talk about. So, price point aside, Hourglass is just, their aesthetic is not really, I don't feel like it's catered toward me, per se. Um, they are a very, like, natural, um, kind of, like, embracing your skin kind of brand is what I personally see the brand as. Um, I've just, I've never gotten jazzed about their ambient lighting palettes. Um, I tried a foundation from them, the Vanish Stick Foundation, I really didn't love it. Um, what else have I tried from them? I haven't tried much, but that's just because the brand really doesn't excite me. The only product recently that excited me was the loose powder that they came out with, but even then it didn't excite me enough to go out and buy it because, first of all, it is pricey, and second of all, it's just... I don't know, there are other products on the market that just pull to me more, so yeah. I just, I really look over Hourglass's releases, um, they just don't really excite me, and that is why they made this list. So next we have Physicians Formula. So this kind of makes me bummed, because I really love Physicians Formula. I have some products from them that I really do adore, but when we're talking about when they release products, if I get super excited, the answer is definitely no. Um, when I see Physicians Formula come out with a new product, you know, I just, 
I'm just like, uh, it's whatever. Like, it's, first of all, it's drugstore brand, but their pricing is, like, in the middle of drugstore and high end, I feel. I feel like their prices are really getting up there. But like I said, price point aside, like the eyeshadows that they recently came out with just, they looked kind of boring to me. I really do like the butter bronzer, but like their other butter products in that line, I never really felt the need to go out and, and run and purchase. Um, their mascaras don't really do it for me. Um, eyeliners, like there's just nothing really about the brand that like really speaks to me. I feel like it. I just get a little bored from their releases and I feel like they are another one that just kind of like repromotes and repackages. For example, they came out with like the little butter like sets around the holiday time. Um, they come out with little sets with their liquid lipsticks and I just feel like they're another one that's not very innovative in this space. So personal opinion, but Physicians Formula definitely is one of those brands that I just overlook sometimes, which is a bummer because I really do like the products that I've tried from them, but yeah, I just look over them sometimes. Last up is It Cosmetics. So this brand really doesn't do it for me. I have tried a few products from It Cosmetics. I've tried um, their Celebration Foundation, the powder foundation. I have tried their Naturally Pretty palette. Um, what else have I tried? I can't think of anything else because there probably isn't anything else because I just really don't I again I feel like it's not really catered toward my uh, demographic I feel like they are for a more mature woman and I don't know why I have that image in my mind but I really do feel like they are just more mature with their releases and it's very like toned down and neutral and they just never really do anything like super fun in my opinion um the naturally pretty palette it was it was nice but i decluttered that a while ago it was just kind of boring in my collection and i was just overlooking it and going for something else over it um and yeah it's just one of those brands that they release things and i'm just like <laughs> like i won't even like give it a double take i'll just pass right on by it because i genuinely like don't feel a pull to the brand so yeah that was one that was really easy for me to put on this list it cosmetics definitely one of those brands that just does not get my juices flowing Yo, i hate that expression <laughs> so now we can move over into the top five brands Woo! i um really wanted to end this on a high note and i feel really awkward like talking poorly about the five brands that i just mentioned because i i do like certain products from these brands and i don't think that they are bad brands <laughs> um but anyway you guys get it so for my top five, the first brand I wanted to talk about is Too Faced Cosmetics. So Too Faced is one of those brands that I just get really pumped when they release something. Um, I think they kill it with their packaging. I think that they are so cute and just really like fun with their packaging. I really love their eyeshadows. I love their face products. Um, I love their concealer. There's just so much from the brand that I've tried and loved that when they come out with something new, I am really excited to go out and try it because I have high hopes that it's going to work for me. Um, but other than that, they just really catch your attention with their marketing and their packaging. And yeah, they're one of those brands that when I see them pop up on Trend Mood, I'm just like, yes, we have a new Too Faced release and I am pumped about it. Next up is Natasha Denona, which is funny because I don't own much from Natasha Denona. I own one single palette and it's like a little five pan palette and I literally never touch it. I never touch it. Um, but this brand I get really excited to see what she's coming out with because I think Natasha Denona is such an amazing makeup artist. I feel like her brand is one that is very innovative in this space and when she comes out with an eyeshadow palette, like her big palettes that are like over $100, I never think to myself, well I'm gonna buy that, but I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty, I'm so excited about this release. So it's kind of like this weird thing where it's like, I'm not excited because I want to purchase it, I'm just excited because it's like a cool release or a beautiful release or like I'm just excited to see her like do a tutorial with it on her Instagram story. I just really think that that brand is doing amazing things and despite them being astronomically priced, um, I really do get excited for their releases. So that is one that I wanted to include on this list for sure. Next up is ColourPop. Now ColourPop comes out with a lot of products. Um, they're releasing something pretty much every week and it is a little hard to keep up but I still get really excited. Um, I love when they come out with their little nine pan palettes. They're doing like a little monochromatic thing right now and I am really, really loving it. 
Um, I just, I like the collaborations that they do. I like the little sets that they come out with. I love their different collections, their spring collection, their summer collection. It's just, and I've tried so much from the brand that I really do enjoy, especially their palettes. I think they kill it with their palettes. Um, the, when they come out with a new one, I get really excited because there is a huge possibility that I am going to purchase it, you know? There are some brands where I get really excited and I'm like, mm, probably not gonna buy it, but that's cool. Natasha, no, no, no. But ColourPop is so affordable, and I really appreciate that. And they have really quality products, and I just think that they are another brand that's doing like some like new. I don't want to use the word innovative again. So like just newer, fresh things um, coming to the market, and I just I think that they do a great job marketing. I feel like they're just an all-around great brand, so definitely one that is always on my radar. Next up, I want to talk about BH Cosmetics. So BH Cosmetics is one that for a little while, like I didn't really pay attention to them. Um, I kind of just always like passed over them. I never really gave them a second look or whatever, but they are a brand that has recently really just like reeled me in, and I get really excited when I see a new BH palette or you know face product anything like whenever they release something new I am really excited and I want to read more about it and I want to see about it I want swatches I want demos I want to watch reviews I just get really excited for BH Cosmetics I their standout product to me is their eyeshadow palettes I just think that they really kill it with their eyeshadows um I love their bigger bigger palettes I like their smaller palettes I just think that they are a really great affordable option and can you tell that I really like affordable makeup because yeah the last three here are gonna be pretty affordable um, but that might be one of the reasons why it really catches my attention but I just I love the brand I really I feel like I just vibe with them really well like I don't know how to describe this these lights are getting to me um, I just feel like they Again, do a really great job marketing, and I like that they do a lot of different collaborations. I like that they are more affordable. Their website is always running sales, like, at all times, and they're just really accessible. And, yeah, I just, I really, really enjoy that brand. I've loved trying more from the brand, and I definitely am excited to try more in the future. Last up, we have Juvia's Place. So Juvia's Place is a newer brand to me. Um, I haven't been purchasing them from all that long, maybe like a year and a half to two years. And I just really love everything that I've tried from the brand so far, which has exclusively been eyeshadow palettes um, because they just recently came out with some new items. Oh, I also have a face palette. I also have a face palette, but they just recently started like expanding their line with foundations, concealers, lip products, so I am really excited to try those in the future, but the eyeshadow palettes are really what speak to me, and first of all, the price is amazing, the formula is incredible, so pigmented, so easy to work with despite being so pigmented, and they have like the most unique color stories. I absolutely adore their color stories. They put these colors together that I would never think to pair together you know, if I was just putting a look together myself. But since they're in a palette together, I'm like, oh, I can pair this color with this color. I can pair this bright pink with this ne neon green, and it's fine. <laughs> I don't do that, but I could if I wanted to, because um, I feel like they, I feel like their palettes really bring out the creative side in me, which I really appreciate. They make me excited to play with color, um, and there are so many palettes from them that I still want to try. I have three or four right now, and I am definitely excited to try more. Um, like I said, I also have a face palette, which I really enjoy, and yeah, I just think that they are a wonderful brand. Um, I really love that they are more affordable, and they're another one whose website has deals all the time, and they're available on Ulta as well as BH. Um, available on Ulta, so super accessible, um, and I just really, really love that brand. I am excited to try more from them in the future, and I just really love what they're doing. So that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. Those were my top five and bottom five brands that excite me. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video, and I hope that you just found it to be lighthearted because that's how it's meant to be taken. I really don't want anyone to get super offended. If you enjoy one of the brands that I put in my bottom five, like I said, they're not bad brands. They are just ones that don't excite me, and that's okay because we are all different. Our makeup preferences are different. Our styles are different. 
and we look for different things in brands. So I really appreciate you guys watching today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and definitely subscribe if you aren't already. I would love to see you back here. I will link Samantha's channel down below so you can go check her out, give her some love if you don't already know who she is. Um, she did create this tag and I love her channel so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.